Hey, Jenny Lakeman here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to easily add an option form to your website using Elementor Pro. I'm going to show you how to integrate Elementor Pro with your email marketing service so that um, you can style the form, the opt-in form using Elementor. And then when someone subscribes, they get added to your email marketing list. Um, and the reason why I really like using Elementor Pro, if you have it, is because it's so much easier to style. The, it's so much easier to style it to make it look um, consistent with your brand. And it's just cleaner and like it's actually more best practice kind of code wise, too, because there's not um, a big block of like random code sitting on your opt in page. It just is really clean with Elementor Pro. So. Um, that's my preference. If you don't have Elementor Pro, you can still totally add an opt-in form. You'll just need to use the form builder that your email marketing service provides, and you'll need to do some tweaking um, to like customize the look and feel of that. And I actually have a video that shows you how to do that using MailerLite. I'll link that below. Um, you can, if you're not using MailerLite, the same, you can still watch that video. It'll be useful. It'll show you kind of the process, and then you can do some Googling to figure out how to get it to work with your email marketing service. So. But right now we're focusing on Elementor Pro and how to integrate that with your email marketing service. So I really like um, I really like Elementor Pro. It's an excellent, really flexible page builder in WordPress. Um, and so this is kind of an example that, of the um, opt-in that I'm going to be creating. We're just going to have a headline and then name, email, send me the tips, and then we'll send them to a thank you page after they opt in, and then they'll get added to MailerLite. So... To start off with, the first thing that we need to do is we need to go into MailerLite um, or your other email marketing service and um, whatever email marketing service you're using and get the API key. And all the API key is is like a, a sequence of letters and numbers that is unique to your um, account with your email marketing service. If you're not using Elementor, you can still do this. Elementor integrates with MailChimp, MailPoet, GetResponse, ConvertKit, Drip, ActiveCampaign, HubSpot, MailerLite, Slack, and Discord. And even if you're if you're using um, an email service that's different from these, some of my clients are using like Flowdesk and other services. You can still integrate with that. Um, you can the two ways to do that are either to use Zapier as like a go-between, or to use like Flowdesk or whatever email marketing service you're using to use their built-in form builder, like I mentioned earlier. So um, first to get your email marketing um, key or your API key from your email marketing service in MailerLite, you come over here to the dropdown and then you go to integrations. And then the, it's under developer API, you just click use and then you can copy the API key. And you'll come over to your WordPress website and you'll go to Elementor. This is assuming you already have Elementor installed um, as a plugin. You'll come, go to Elementor and under settings, there's an integrations tab and you'll just scroll down until you find the um, section for MailerLite and then you'll paste in your API key here. Well, my API key is actually already pasted in there, but um, because I've been using this on my site for a while, but that's what you do. You paste it there, you click validate API key and it'll give you a green check mark and then just make sure to click um, save changes right here to save your API key. So that's the first step. And then I'm actually gonna close a couple of pages to simplify things. All right, and then you need to navigate to all pages and find the page that you want to edit. And here I actually had already opened that one um, often YouTube test is this page that I created for this video. I'm going to edit it with Elementor. And then the first thing that we're going to do, you see, I've already got the page designed and I've got my headline. I just want to show you how to customize and integrate the form with MailerLite. So I'm going to come over here to the search widget. I'm going to type in form. And um, the form that we want is just you see here, there are lots of different like form options, um, but we don't want any of those. We just want the one that says form and it has this like icon above it that looks kind of like a, a message box with a contact button. Um, and I'm gonna click and drag that into um, the space where I want it. And then you'll see automatically the edit, the edit page for this form comes up. I'm gonna rename the form to just be newsletter opt-in. And then I'm going to um, I'm going to get rid of the message box because I don't really want that. So you just click the X to get rid of any of the inputs that you don't want. 
I actually don't want to show the label. The label is the name, the, the little like label that appears above the box. I actually just want to hide that because I think it looks cleaner without it. And then the submit button, actually, hold on just a second. I'm going to go back to the form fields and I'm going to open up, click to open up the name field. And I'm going to mark it required. I want them to have to fill out the name field. The email field is already um, required by default. And then the submit button, I'm going to customize the text to say, send me the tips. You can customize it to whatever you want. And then actions after submit. So this is what happens after someone hits the button. We want the submit to connect with MailerLite. So I'm going to type start typing in MailerLite. And then so um, that's what will start our MailerLite connection. And then I also want to set up a redirect. I want the, um, after submit, I want the form to redirect someone to a new page, a thank you page. So for the redirect, you just open, uh, and I, you saw as I added these um, options appeared, drop down options appeared for them. So it's really handy. For the redirect, I'm going to, um, this is the thank you page that I want to redirect users to. So I'm just going to copy the URL here and I'm going to paste that in the redirect to um, option box. Now to connect MailerLite, super easy. For the API key, you can leave it as a default because we took care of the API key earlier. This is just telling Elementor, make sure you pull in that default API key that I already added into my settings. And then for the group, you're just gonna select the, the group or you know some services call them lists. Uh, MailerLite calls them groups. It's the same concept. You're just gonna select the group that you want um, users to be added to. If you don't see any groups here, then you just need to go into your MailerLite account and add a group under subscribers. Um, I'm going to put these users in opt-in only, unwelcomed opt-in only. And then the only other thing that's left to do is to map our field options. So for the email field, I want that email field to go to the email. Um, like that's telling MailerLite where to add the information that's getting put into this form. And then I want the name to be added to the name box in MailerLite. And that's it. You can click update. So your MailerLite and everything is all integrated with this form. Um, if, you, if you're happy with the way that it looks, you can go ahead and um, just hit preview changes and preview what the form looks like and then test it and make sure that it works the way that you want, want it to. It redirects to the thank you page and users are added to MailerLite. But I really want to customize the way this form looks because um, I'm a designer and I'm not happy with gray buttons. So um, to do that, all you do is you just edit your form and then you come over here. You can, if, if you clicked out of the form at any point, you can just click this pencil icon to come back to this edit menu. And then I'm going to click style and I'm going to edit the field first. The fields are these two um, white boxes here. The only thing I want to edit here is that I want the border radius to be zero. That just makes the edges, the corners nice and pointy. And then the button, I want to change the background color to red. Now I have another video that talks about how to add your color palette here. If you haven't already, I'll link that below too. Um, if you don't want to bother with that, with adding your own color palette to WordPress though, you can simply type in the hex code from like your style guide or, or whatever your chosen colors are right here. And that will also add it. Um, and then I'm going to change the border radius to be zero again so that the corners are nice and sharp. And then on hover, I want the button to change colors. So I'm going to come over here to hover. And then I'm going to have the background color be just the black for my color palette. And you'll see that now when I hover, it changes the colors. And that's it. That's all I really care to do about um, styling. So I'm going to click update. And then I'm going to preview my changes by clicking the little eyeball icon here. And that will open the page in a new window. And you'll see here it's looking really good. So you can just type in a name and an email and hit send me the tips. Um, okay, so I'm getting an error, which is why we test every time, guys. Always test. So I'm going to try a different email because I'm wondering if it's because I already had that email added to MailerLite and then unsubscribed at some point. These are just my test emails that I always use. Okay, so that worked. I think it was just that first email I had added already to MailerLite and then deleted it at some point, and so it wasn't letting me re-add it. Now, you may have noticed, this is one last tiny thing that I like to do whenever I'm adding a new opt-in form. You may have noticed that before the form redirected to the thank you page, it had a, this form was sent successfully, little check mark under the form, and I really don't like that. I, I 
I don't think it's very good user experience. So to edit that message, if you want to either delete it or um, change it to say something else, you can come over here under style messages. Um, actually, that's not where it is. It's under content, additional options. And then you can toggle on custom messages. This is where you can change that. So you could also say redirecting or like submitting or something like that if you want to change what that message says um, after they submit before the page redirects. Or what I like to do is actually like to just come over here to style under messages and I just make the success message color white. <laughs> and then, or whatever the background color is for the form and then nobody can see it when it when it shows up. So I'm gonna click update. That's just a tiny thing. All right, and then you can go over to your MailerLite account and make sure that that user got added. Um, and yeah, that is how you, that is how you um, add an opt-in form using Elementor Pro and integrating it with MailerLite or whatever your email marketing service is. Now, if you are in the middle of DIYing your website and you want some of my top tips for doing that, I actually have um, a free download, a free guide. That's my top five tips to creating a site for your coaching business that reflects the value that you put into the world. You'll learn how to manage your site using the most popular tool on the internet. You'll design your content quickly um, with sleek and professional results. And you'll also have the tools to know how to solve any problem that you might encounter in the process. So if this is of interest to you, I'll link it below this video. Otherwise, subscribe if this was helpful. And um, yeah, thanks.